Hi everyone, my name's Alyssa. And I'm also Alyssa. <laughs> We are two Indiana University students sharing the dish on admission, aka everything you want to know about college admissions and the college experience. In this podcast, we will guide prospective students and their parents through applying to IU and college in general by sharing some fun facts, insider tips, and sneak peeks into student life along the way. This is our very first episode, and we're so excited. So even though we have the same name and we both go to IU, we actually don't know each other that well in real life. So we're going to get to know each other in this episode. And I think the best way to kick that off is to do our classic tour guide intro yes. because we are both tour guides. And <laughs> every time we start the tour, we have to give our classic tour guide intro. So I will go first. My name is Alyssa Nyman. I'm a junior majoring in elementary education and minoring in Spanish. And I'm from Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Here's my little intro. My name is Alyssa Taylor. I am a senior double majoring in marketing and management, and I'm from a really small town in Southern Illinois. Alyssa, really quick, what grade do you want to teach? Third grade, for um, sure. They're crazy, but in the best way. Keeps things <laughs> interesting. So before we get into the content, we're going to do a little quick quiz just to get to know each other a little bit more. So the first question I have is, Alyssa, how would your friends describe you? Oh, that's a good question. My friends would definitely say I am bubbly and outgoing, and they would probably also say I'm pretty gullible and naive. <laughs> how would your friends describe you? So I have to go with loud as well. Um, I'm a really loud person. I also love talking a lot, which is part of the reason I was excited about a podcast. Um, I'm also just really excitable. I get excited really easy and, um, you know, just extroverted in general. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> If you were stranded on an island, what is one item that you would take with you? Oh, this is so easy. I don't even need to think about this. Nick's fries. Done. <laughs> easy. If you guys listening don't know what Nick's is, it's a really good restaurant here in Bloomington. Uh, their fries have the best seasoning, and that is all I would need on a deserted island, especially because if you go to the actual restaurant, they give you either your fries in a bucket, so I can use the bucket for other things. It's a no-brainer. Okay, I wasn't sure where you're going with that at first, but <laughs> at least the bucket is good. <laughs> be useful. <laughs> I think I was taking a more practical approach and I would want to have my toothbrush with me. <laughs> I uh, recently watched Cast Away and it really grossed me out how all his teeth rotted. So if I was stuck on an island, <laughs> I would appreciate my toothbrush. But what are you going to do without toothpaste? I didn't get that far. What are you going to do with fries? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so on a different note, um, I want to talk about IU memories because the yes. deserted island is giving me some bad vibes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is your greatest IU memory so far? Okay, I have a recent one and I have one from a couple years ago. So my recent one is that Dunkin' Donuts opened this month. What a great <laughs> day to be in Bloomington. Um, but IU related... Junior year in the School of Business, you take a semester of classes called i -Corps, and it's basically known as your toughest semester in college. You work with a team and you spend a lot of hours together. You, you get really close with these people and you work on a 90 page case that is just one of the hardest things you've ever had to tackle as a student. And my favorite memory was... Um, Turning in that case, our team rode together on scooters all through campus and handed it in. And it was such a good feeling of accomplishment when we gave our professors that case and knew that we had survived i -Corps. Plus, you get those free shirts, right? Yes. The, one of my favorite pictures is us hugging in our I Survived i -Corps t t-shirts. <laughs> My memory is a little more silly than that one, um, but equally as accomplished, I would say. So for those listening, I'm not sure if you know this, but your first pro tip um, about IU is that there's actually a tradition for new students to jump into the Showalter Fountain, which is just a fountain on campus. Um, everyone has to do it before they graduate. If you don't, 
That's just embarrassing. You have to do it. Um, and my floor freshman year decided we were going to get it over with the first week of school as a freshman. And plus it was August, so it was warm. It was okay. But we went to campus and we jumped into the fountain fully clothed all together. And it was so funny. Um, I just remember seeing everyone just like splashing around. It was hilarious. And then we all raced back to the dorm to get to the shower first. <laughs> Yeah, because, I mean, yeah, it's water, but that's just kind of gross, and I wanted a shower. <laughs> that sounds but, like so much fun. Yeah, it was super exciting. So that's my favorite memory so far at IU. So, Alyssa, what is your biggest goal or dream for yourself? I would say probably just being prepared for my life and for adulthood and having everything I need to take with me and having all my friends that I've connected with in college just to take on life with me. And I'd say I'm doing a pretty good job so far. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Mine is to give a TED Talk someday. I don't know what the topic will be or what I will be um, well prepared enough to speak about, but I just love listening to TED Talks. I think the people carry themselves so well. And if I was ever asked to give one, I think it'd be a huge accomplishment for me. I'd go to your TED Talk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> At least there'd be one person in the audience. <laughs> So as I mentioned before, we are both tour guides. And one thing that we always do at the end of our tours is we like to do a why IU moment. So that's basically where we just tell our tour group why we personally chose IU um, and what it had to offer for us. So I'll go first. I am from Pennsylvania, as I mentioned before, and I wasn't sure how far I wanted to go. Obviously, Indiana is not very close to Pennsylvania, but it was important to me that the school I chose was big, had lots of opportunities, lots of school spirit, a beautiful campus, and just had activities that I would want to do and a place I could see myself being a student. And as soon as I got there, I just knew right away that I could see myself studying in the different study locations. I could see myself walking around downtown Kirkwood and just with my friends, having the time of my life. And when I went to my first football game, I, I just knew I picked the right school. Everyone was so excited and I was just so proud to be a Hoosier. It was amazing. I know you guys can't see me, but I'm smiling ear to ear because I know <laughs> that feeling and it's such a great moment. Um, my story's a little different. I wasn't as brave as that, Alyssa, and I didn't go as far away from home. But the reason I chose IU was because both of my parents went there, they met there, and I was just brainwashed since a little baby um, <laughs> that IU is the happiest place <laughs> in the world. So I toured and my parents would raise their hands at every stop saying, we went here and we ate here and we studied here. And I knew how much they loved it. And the credentials of the school speak for itself. It's a great, great school, has great spirit. And so I knew it would work. I didn't know if I would find um, the joy and the happiness that my parents found. But I am so thankful to say within a short two weeks, I had found my favorite study spots. I had found my favorite places to eat. And no offense to them, but the places that I found didn't even exist 30 years ago. And I definitely found a way to make it my favorite place and my, um, the school of my dreams, even though the reason it was in my radar in the first place was because of them. That sounds so cute. I'm so glad you picked IU. <laughs> me too. But that made me curious. What's your favorite study spot on campus? So right in the Arboretum, there is a little um, gazebo with benches. It's next to the library. Can you picture what I'm? Yes. And I love studying outside there. The Wi-Fi goes all throughout campus, indoors and outdoors. So it's really nice when you can study outside on nice days. 
I always walk past that spot when I go through the little courtyard area yes. and I love it. It's so Stop pretty. And say hi sometime. <laughs> I sure will. I have a lot of different study spots, but I think my favorite is the Lois Eskenazi Museum of Art, oh, which yes. sounds weird because no. it's a museum. But if you go upstairs, there's a little cafe and there's a bunch of tables. And when you look out, you can see all the, the windows and like the glass work and stuff on the ceiling. And it's so nice. And there's a lot of daylight. So that's my favorite spot. I love big windows and daylight when I'm studying because... I'll get tired if it, if it gets dark. <laughs> Me too. Okay, well, now that I know everything about you, Alyssa. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but this does wrap up our first Dish on Admission podcast. But we are really excited to be releasing some new episodes in the next few weeks about all things college. We'll have podcasts over dining, housing, financial aid, and applying to college in general. So please tune back in because you won't want to miss these tips and tricks. Thanks for joining us on The The Dish Dish on the Miss. Miss. (laughs) Yeah, we're going to have to work on that.